good afternoon um happy friday everybody oh where's the dot gone is it i feel like i'm looking the wrong way here um okay i've got let's plug this in i'm hoping i've got enough battery life for this i have 10 10 sales 10 ebay sales from the past week um last week i did um some, like sales that i enjoyed from june um and this is just 10 from the past week not all oh, i'm just gonna get chit chat up not all like um actually to be honest there's some good sales on here um i think i'm doing all right considering it's quiet and it is weird because some days i'm like oh i seem to be averaging one to two sales but you know they're reasonable sales so, so it's not bad for how long i've been going um where do i get my oh refresh um and i'll just point to you at the screen again to go through this here we go live now three watching hello here three we go people. live now oh turn that off righty -oh. okay um still roasting and I am definitely a person who loves the sun and I kind of don't want to say it um hi Karen just woke up from a two-hour nap oh that's so nice I'm actually I'm using my little glasses my 70s glasses with my lovely bee stems but this is energy drink because um I tried to well I had a mini power nap earlier but I'm waking up like I don't know if it's the weather between like four and five and then that's it really so um yeah oh nice two hour nap cheers right uh oh is that i'm not feeling well feeling well just woke up from a turn up i hope you're feeling well right anyway let's get on to some sales which way we're gonna go um i've got some tabs up here okay i think most of these is mostly from things that I've shown in hauls. Um, let oh, hang on, orientation. Forget that with YouTube. Right, let's turn around. Let's turn around. Here we go. Let's sit down. Right, so you might remember this. Um, Oh, now I lose the chat. Oh, no, it might come from my phone. Um, so it's, I thought this was, apologies if anybody that bought this was is happens to be watching, I doubt it, but this is not my cup of tea at all. This um, EWM, so Edinburgh Woolen Mill, Ombre Colour Fade Pink Cardigan, UK 14 to 16, 20% Angora. That was, the, that was the reason I picked it up. It was 20% Angora, weekend casual, relaxed. Um, and... I mustn't have paid, I must have paid 50p or a pound because I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. It's just not. I, well, the surprising thing for me is I thought, well, this will hang around, but it's Angora. So I'm like, I'll give it a go, put it on for my, you know, £15 plus shipping. And it sold within a day or two or something. I was really surprised. So um, good sale in the end. I don't know if you can see that properly. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, so that was just so surprising. And of course, you know, lots of people are saying it, these thick woolies are all selling in this heat wave. You don't need to stockpile, I'm discovering, you don't need to stockpile wool coats and your woolies because they will sell now. And if somebody does need one for some reason, of course, um, yours is there. So yeah, happy days on that. Uh, good check, but there must be a good £12 profit on that one. Um, right, this Plumber Bill Take Along Modern Dolls House Play Set Family Figures Dog Furniture. So sold for £22 plus shipping. I picked this up with a bundle of other stuff and it was a Facebook pickup. Um, but I tell you what, it has hung around for quite a while. Um, I've still got the camper van and bits for sale. And it's, to be honest, I mean, I love Playmobil in terms of, you know, it being a lovely toy, but, oh, I do, don't need that now. But, um, yeah, it's hung around and it's bulky. 
So for me, um, I remember I had one a house, uh, another not a take along house, another house, and it took ages. So um, I've got some figures on still, but I'm not really, I'm not going out of my way to pick up Playmobil in the future unless it falls into my lap or it's dirt cheap. Um, yeah, so there you go. Just get that off my chest. Right. Oh, can you? Is that a bit blurred? Is that not too bad? I'll read it out anyway. Right. But next is my cup of tea. Now this is my cup of tea. Let's uh, if it's not disappeared. Here it is. A bit of wicker. I think I showed this on my first haul on here. So vintage peacock. Your connection keeps dropping. I wonder if that's this end. Uh, well, I'll carry on anyway. Um, if anybody else watching, could you um, just put a smiley face or something in the chat to say if you can hear this okay? Um, yeah, vintage peacock chair style plant holder stand pot rattan wicker, 70s boho, 60s hippie. So covering all bases there. Um, and yeah, thanks to Andrea Hills for... Uh, pointing us in the right direction with giving us the tip of the, the wicker, which I actually love. Your mum has those glass. Oh yeah, the little 70s. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this. Um, yeah, so this, £25 for shipping and I paid, I think I paid 50p for this. Oh no, hang on, that was, that was a different one. Um, oh, all right, Rob, oh thanks for that. So you can hear me okay. Um, that was another one actually. I think I paid 70p. Oh, it's your rubbish Wi Fi. Um, bad for you, but good for me that I can carry on with this. Um, yeah, I think I paid 70p for this because I, I bought it from um, some really lovely ladies when I bought the like tape drawer things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed that on a haul. Um, they were so lovely, and she even helped me to the car with it all. And it was just you know dirt cheap, and I didn't quite realize at the time what I was going to put it on for. But 25 quid plus shipping, I mean, happy days. And actually, I'm getting really into this wicker, not just from a reselling point of view, but I really like it. I really like that kind of 70s look. And in fact, I was out somewhere, not for resale. I was just at um, Fanny's Antiques in Reading looking at all of their lovely wicker bits earlier. Um, yeah, so good sell that. Um, Sib, if you're watching, bit of wicker there for you. What is next? Oh yeah, really love this sale as well. And this was on uh, one of those hauls. Um, it's a carpet bag. So vintage St. Michael tapestry carpet, Gladstone, Mary Poppins tote bag, Bohemian hippie, all the keywords. Uh, sold for £20 plus shipping. I paid from the coat. Um, I thought that it would have, I wasn't sure, but I had seen Laura... Is it Laura Stubbs? Uh, Laura, anyway, um, reseller Laura, pick something like this up. And I don't know if she was going to keep it or or resell it. But, yeah, St. Michael. I'm starting to get, I think, into the... Actually, and, and there you go. There's the, uh, the label. I'm starting to feel a bit more confident with these vintage things. Well, the vintage... Well, this is a bag, but clothing stuff as well. Um, so yeah, and that's kind of that sold in days. I think, oh no, hang on, it's not last weekend, so less than two weeks anyway. So, and it's a good sale, so happy with that. And the price, I think I pretty much made that up with what I thought would be reasonable. I don't think any were achieving that, but uh, that's kind of what I do now. If I think something's got value, then you know, I'm going to stick on at that. So happy with that. Um, this next one is. Um, it's not bread and butter because it's good money, but it is something that I always pick them up, tapestry kits. This is an ermine, um, and so, let's read this out, ermine cross stitch tapestry kit, mountain roses by Nicole Richards, canvas wool plus. And it's not even in its original packet. I don't know, it's not in its original packet. Um, but all the bits are there. For 15, I picked this up for three pounds and it was, kind of it was just in a a bag like a bag of bags in a charity shop and they were like oh everything's 50p each but then i said what these and pulled them out of this bag and then they're like oh i'll check and it was 
they were three pounds each and I was like oh okay um so well, I'll still take them I got this and another one I think the lady was a bit surprised because you know I was expecting it was 50p and it was three and I was like no I'll still take them <laughs> um but it, it was fine to pay three it's just the mislabeling that was a bit like oh okay but 50 quid that is the highest I've got for an ermine I did have another ermine which I put on for something like 35 and it went within minutes and somebody did comment on Insta and say, oh, I've just sold one of these for blah, blah, blah. So I put it up this time. But yeah, I always pick these up. Um, if you've been following me on Insta, you know that um, I always pick tapestries up, but you put them in. So if you see, especially that make, um, and if you see that, then definitely. Right, what is now? Oh yeah, this is not some pick up. Um, m &S Sheer Dress Kaftan Tunic Ruffles Animal Print Summer Holiday Beach UK 14 to 16. I think maybe it's, has the, um, I wonder if the label's been cut out. Oh no, it says 16, but maybe I thought it was a bit on the small side. Uh, great find, thanks Karen. Um, and you can see it's a blooming shocking photo there. It's awful. And this is when I wonder if I ought to have a mannequin because if you've got a belted dress, trying to do it on a hanger, it's shocking it just it's just horrific like the belt thing is there it's just yeah horrific um but it's all for 20 pounds plus shipping and i keep saying i think i've been overlooking marks and spencers because the only reason i picked this up was it was on the pound rail um so it was a quid so i could take a punt on it it had ruffles which i keeping i i saw somewhere that ruffles were in so if i see ruffles cheap enough i pick them up um, which is why I got this, because I would never have picked this up. And this kind of floaty, floaty, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. But I've had positive feedback on it, so it's obviously is some people's thing. I think animal print usually helps things. Um, but, yeah, good sell. One pound into 20 plus shipping. So happy with that. And I will pick up more m and I need to do a bit more on that. Um, oh, yes. Right. Coming up this sold today you might have seen it on my insta if you're not following me on insta i'm shelster h um really chuffed with this it's a fabulous um crochet cardigan coat thing monsoon long crochet cardigan coat festival boho hippie coachella glastonbury 12. couldn't even uh you can get a mannequin for 25 pounds Use a size 16. Yeah, and but then I the then I the trouble is then I hear people saying I'm not really using my mannequin anymore because it's crooked to use the hanger, and then I think, oh yeah, I won't bother then. It's only occasionally that I could do with one. So maybe I need to find somebody that could just model the odd um item for me or something. Um yeah, anyway, great sale. This came through this morning, 50 quid plus shipping, happy days. Um it, I bought it from my favourite place, did cop for one ninety nine, um, And actually, I think I was, I think I'd seen one sell for fish or something. And I was going to put it on for about 35 40 And I was doing an Insta stream and Caroline Mrs M came on and she just put 60 <laughs> And I thought, oh, okay. But that was, I looked it up and that was with free shipping. Um, and she did point out this is a better colourway than the one that had sold. It was a blue one, the other one. Um, so I did try first round, like first 30 days, it's something like 55 plus shipping, I think. I think that's what I had it on at. And then like the next 30 days, I've just had it on at 50 plus shipping. I mean, happy days. It's a brilliant sale. So um, yeah, really good. And thanks, Caroline, Mrs. M, for getting me to put it up a bit more than I would have done. Um, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, not wicker, but grass. I'm loving all this kind of earthy stuff. Let's get it up. Here we go. So I picked this up last weekend from the car boot. I picked this up in two little kind of wickery rattan cats. All of it cost me £2.50, so this owes me £1.25. I put it on one day. It sold the next £20 plus shipping. Um, lovely. Um, let's have a look at the keywords vintage woven coil oh i've put woven twice still sold um my keyword room there 
vintage woven coil, woven savannah, grass, basket, lidded pot, kitch, homeware, storage. Um, I wasn't sure, I mean I knew about the wicker, but it's kind of along those lines. But you know, when you're getting it this cheap, uh, what did I say, £1.25 it owed me, it's worth a punt. And I thought £20 was pushing it, to be honest. Um, but it's sold the next day, so clearly not. Happy days. So I'll continue to pick things up like that. I know um, people have been picking up maybe general baskety pots or bowls. I'm not sure about those. I think they're so widely available, they'll go sell. If you can get something that looks a bit more unusual like this, then it might help. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Um, I'm hoping to find more of this sort of lovely stuff this weekend. What have I got next? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Another thick woolly jumper. Vintage 80s, 90s sweater shop. If anybody remembers the sweater shop. Um, sweater shop jumper, unisex, oversized, drop shoulder, festival slouch. L, because I've run out of even being able to put size in there. Oh, and thanks for whoever gave me that keyword slouch, because I hadn't been using that, and uh, I used it on that. So, yeah, I got that the other weekend before, I think. Um, I think pick up sweater. Should, um, thought that was a good punt, but it, it's so, I think it was about 89, or I don't know how, how I got with, there was a date inside. Um, so about 89, 90 or something. Uh, and I thought, oh, someone's going to love that. But sometimes when I think someone's going to love that, I should have just seen how much I sold that for. £30 plus shipping. Whoa. I was thinking that was a £20-pounder, but yeah, that was a good buy. Two quid and 30. Yeah, really happy with that. So I'll carry on picking up these oversized. Um, I guess it's such a kind of sweater shop was quite iconic for the time, really. You know, if you're looking back, that's a real, like, 80s, 90s kind of um, shop. And that print is as well. You can check that print out. So, yeah, and again, right in the middle of the heat wave, fast, fast seller. I thought that would hang around till winter, so hopefully all my other big fluffy jumpers will sell now. And last one, this I picked up last Saturday, and I would have put it in the hall, because I remember saying, check this out, the wooden... Let's read it out. Vintage retro wooden tape cassette rack holder organizer hanging storage kitsch prop. Um, flipping neck. I did say, I did say in the hall, I'm gonna put this on for forty pounds forty. And flipping neck, it sold. Was it the next day? It must have sold the next day. It was. It was blooming quick anyway. Forty quid. I paid a pound for this. Um, and it was on the way out and I, I was in a hurry to get back for elder daughter coming back and younger daughter was uh, a bit whingy and I just came past and I kept seeing things on my way back to the car. I was like, oh, oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Like I just, you know, armfuls of stuff. I'd already been back to the car twice, but it was a quid and I thought, oh yeah, like I was thinking start, aim high, start high and uh, maybe, you know, it might take a little while or I'll drop the price, but it sold so quickly. And in fact, I had a really happy buyer. He's already messaged me saying chuffed to bits with it. And if I get any more, then he would he would be interested. <laughs> it's already on his wall. So, yeah, blooming brilliant. But I'll tell you what. Oh, I'll turn you around a minute, actually, um, while I'm chit-chatting. And I can get the chat up again. I'll tell you what. Um, It's kind of... Thing is spoiled at the moment with the car boots and I um there we go um I do enjoy I know there's the odd I can't get in the picture probably I know there's the odd um like bit of clothing that's really it was really nice doing with that monsoon um note festival coat or whatever it is and some of the clothing I do enjoy but I'm really enjoying the non-clothing items, um, but I'm able to get them dirt cheap from car boots and stuff. I think come the winter, I really want to just go, mind you, I think I'm hoovering up as much as I can. I'm filling my boots up every Saturday, every Sunday, um, 
kind of want to go with a van and just stock it, just stock up, just squirrel nutkin for the winter. Um, I was even thinking about trying to talk to some house clearance people. Hi, Peter. Just at the end, Peter, but um, yeah, you can have a look back. Um, talking to some house clearance people because I am picking quite a lot up from the house clearance guys as well about, you know, making some kind of connection for the winter. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm having higher hope for my large bags of ages costume jewellery. Yeah, everybody's getting into the jewellery as well, aren't they? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. That, um, the, the ermine was last Friday, so there's been other little sales in between that lot, but yeah, we're not getting like one or two sales, I think. Oh, yeah, this is the summer slowdown. They've got, they're good sales, they're good profits, so, um, should be happy with that actually yeah well hope you're all having good sales and you're not melting i am a little bit um and yes enjoy the weekend enjoy the car boots if you're going oh you've got warhammer Ooh. um and let's see i'll probably hopefully i'll pick up some good good stuff and do a haul on monday okay have a good weekend everybody or what's your nans Oh, he wrote his costume jewelry. Oh, that's nice. So you know it's authentic as well. I do like it when I'm picking up the wicker and I'm chatting to them and they go, oh yeah, it was my mum's or something. And you, and you know, and they're a bit older than me and you think, great, this is proper old. This is vintage. It's proper mid-century. Lovely. How much? 50p? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Happy days. Right. Have a lovely weekend, everybody.